Dear students, welcome to our online sessions. Myself, Ravi Kumar K.R., lecturer in Computer Science, JSI PO College, Mysore. Students, in my previous session, I had explained you about generations of computers. Now, in this session, I am going to explain you about the classification of computers. Computers can be classified in different ways. So here, based on its principle or functioning or configuration or purpose, computer can be classified into three different categories. Here, first classification is based on the principle, principle of working. Second one is based on the configuration and here, and next one is based on the functioning of the computers. So here, this based on the principle, computers are classified into three types. They are analog computers, digital computers, and hybrid computers. And here, based on configuration in terms of size and its capacity, computers are classified into micro, mini, mainframe and supercomputers <coughs> and based on functioning or different applications computers are classified into servers, workstation, information appliances and embedded computers. <coughs> Students, now let us discuss these two devices or classifications in detail and this is not is there in your syllabus. Let us go through this devices one by one. Students, let us look into the classification based on its principle. Here, there are three types of computers. One is analog computers, digital computers and hybrid computers. Here, first we look into that, what is analog computers? This analog computer which works on the principle of measuring. Here, it works with a quantity or a magnitude in terms of measuring. This analog computer which works with the principle of measuring rather than counting. Obviously it works on different types of signals, maybe electrical signals or hydraulic or mechanical signals or information. And this information may be in the form of graphs. You might have seen that any information in the form of graphs is analogous information or analogous data. Here, this analog computer works with analogous signal, maybe electrical signals or hydraulic and mechanical information. And here, this works on continuous range of values. These type of computers will get the information continuously. The values available or the signals available. It's a very good example for this is your landline telephone line. Through telephone lines, it is going to carry voice in the form of analog signal. So what is analog signal? Analog signal is nothing but a signal in the form of graphs or some pictorial representation. Your audio tape, you might have seen your audio tape, a tape recorder tape, tape cassette. That is also an example for these type of devices. The Zarak system is an example for analog type of devices. These type of devices generally we are using in weather forecasting or predictions, tide predictions. Very simple example I can give you is your BP operator as well as thermometer. If you go to any hospital, they will be using thermometer. The thermometer, how do we read the temperature? The temperature will be recorded through a mercury level, isn't it? So, so that is an example for analogous device. The doctors in a hospital, they are going to check the BP with the help of an instrument. So, they are going to read the values or they are going to read the values through the levels of mercury in the operator. So this is nothing but analogous computer. So mainly it works with analogous data or here input is in the form of analogous signal and output also in the form of analogous signal or in the form of a pictorial representation of the information or the values. 
the applications of these devices we can find in weather forecasting, time predictions, even in some other hospitals we are using some analogous devices. Next we move on to second type of computers that is digital computers. So here all of you know what is a digital computer. Nowadays what we are using computers is digital one. So what is the meaning of digital one? This type of computers which works or calculations or maybe logical operation or generally we say processing. Processing everything takes place in the form of digits or binary numbers or in the form of zeros and one or combinations of zeros and one that is why it is called as digital computers and this works with any sort of information and in the form of digital form and everything for example magnitude or text pictures it process inside the system and gives the result in the form of binary numbers or in the form of digits and here these digital computer systems are very fast and it gives us accurate results and we have different applications of these digital computers in industries in healthcare in telecommunication in the business in the field of science and technology so here digital computer is nothing but a type of computer which works on the digital information digital data and input in the form of digits and converts or process and output also or in information in the form of digits that is digital computer system now we move on to another type of computers that is hybrid computers so what is a hybrid computers these computers are built with the it has a combination of principle of analogous computer as well as the principle of digital computer so it is a it is a combination of analogous as well as digital computer it works with analogous as well as digital input and process it and output can also be in the or information or output also be in the form of analogous data or digital data it depends on the application it process two different types of signals or data so definitely it will be having two I mean different parts to process different types of data analogous data or digital data so that is how the system hybrid computers and normally these hybrid computers we are using in some critical situations or very complicated calculations and specialized task or specialized applications and in chemical industries to work with nuclear reactor or to control the nuclear power station those are the different applications of hybrid computers even in food industries healthcare I can give a very simple example if you go to any hospital in ICU you can see a device called monitors these monitors will be kept near to the patient and these patients will be connected with different terminals so what uh, with the help of these monitors the doctors will come to know the details of the patients it records the heartbeat BP and other parameters and here you can observe that these the terminals are probes will be connected to the human body or the to the patients and all these in the form of analogous inside the system it process and gives us the result or information in the form of graphs or in the form of value digital values on the device like monitors so this is very good a very good example of hybrid computers or uh, devices similar to hybrid computers or uh, next one is your CT scan and very simple example for you is a petrol pump in the petrol pump you can observe that the petrol flowing or fuel flowing in the the tube will be measured in terms of digital numbers the petrol flowing that is a magnitude those values will be recorded in digital form it says how many liters of petrol and what is the cost of it or in terms of currency this is also a simple example for hybrid 
computers or on the principle of hybrid computers so students these are the classification based on its principle and here there are three types of computers analogous computer digital computer and hybrid computers the analogous computer which works with a continuous values of signals in the form of analogous data if i say analogous it is in the form of graphs or pictorial representation and here very good example also you can think of for this is your ecg electrocardiogram in hospitals and that is you will get the result information in the form in the form of pictures in the form of graphs on paper that is an also example for analogous information similarly it works along with by measuring the values rather than counting in digital form so here we are using this in different applications and similarly digital computers this works mainly with digital values or binary values or binary numbers here information or input or output are in the form of numbers or digits or binary numbers that is zeros and one or combination of zeros and one and these computers are very fast and it gives accurate values so and we have different applications of this digital computer next hybrid computer of combination of principle of analogous plus principle of digital computers so here it will be generally it will be having two different parts one for processing analogous data and another part for processing uh, digital data so here it is a system it works with both analogous as well as digital data and information and another important advantage of this or we are using these type of computers in very critical situations or to process or where it involved complicated calculations we can see the use of this in different industries like chemical industries food industries even in healthcare system so student this is about the classification computer based on the principle of working we will see another types of classification in my next session thank you very much